After more than two months of testimony, attorneys deliver closing arguments in the securities fraud trial of former state representative Pete Beck. The trial is the result of a local 12 News investigation. Some investors say they lost their life savings because they believed in Beck's credibility. Rich Jaffe has been covering the trial as part of Local 12's commitment to holding people in power accountable. And Local 12 was the only TV station to have a crew in the courtroom today. Pete Beck told Judge John Andrew West that he did not want to testify on his own behalf, and so his defense rested without calling a single witness. Their entire case has consisted of trying to shoot holes in the Attorney General's prosecution. Poor, poor Peter Beck, with all those letters behind his name, state representative, chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, CFO of CTEC. Poor, poor Peter Beck. He just didn't understand what's going on. Judge, that's absolutely unbelievable. Beck's accused of helping his team of business associates defraud investors out of millions of dollars using his position and credentials to add credibility to bogus companies. Beck's attorney says he's lost an election, his job, and his savings defending himself. Just like the investigators, the prosecution here, the state has been a little bit fast and loose with their facts in the case. They want you to draw inferences which are based wholly on weak and contrived circumstantial evidence. Defense attorney Ralph Conan says the victim investors changed their testimony to suit the state and a pending civil suit. He also says investigators didn't play fair when they interviewed Beck under oath with his attorney beside him. This was an unfair proceeding from the get-go, okay? They set a trap for Mr. Beck here. Whether they did it in per in intentionally or not doesn't matter. Prosecutors say Beck was a bad liar who, along with his partner, saw a chance to get into a big money-making business. And like a pathetic addict, Your Honor, uh, those who were raising money for it lied, twisted the truth, deceived investors to obtain money for themselves and the company. Because of the way the judge has broken down the charges in the indictment, we heard only about half the closing arguments today. The rest will continue tomorrow. But all the attorneys involved, when they took the floor today, thanked Judge West for his attention and effort here in what has become the longest bench trial in Hamilton County history. In the newsroom, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Cammie? All right, Rich, thank you. While there is no indication just how long it will take Judge West to rule on the case, there's some speculation that it won't take very long. His staff members say he has been coming in almost every weekend and reading through the thousands of pages of evidence. As soon as we know something, of course, we'll let you know.